All right, it's springtime, so we're gonna do a deep clean on our gas grill. This is our daily driver here. Uh, frankly, I don't think we've actually cleaned it in two seasons, so this is gonna be really grimy, and we'll show you how to do a deep clean both on the outside as well as the inside, including your grill grates, the flavorizer bars, and all you're gonna need for this is a brush, some grill floss, this is optional, a scraper, stainless steel wool, some scouring pads, a little bit of dish detergent. We prefer Dawn because it's great for getting off grease. And then two other optional things, we've got some steel buffer or cleaner, and then we've got a little bit of oil just to re-season the grill at the end. All right, so let's jump into this. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is just get these grill grates cleaned up. You wanna just see how dirty and grimy these are. We actually cooked burgers last night and we intentionally didn't clean up the grill just because I wanna show you this grill floss and how amazing it is. As opposed to using a grill brush that can oftentimes release metal fibers into your grill and potentially get into your food, these things just come with a little hook and there's four different attachments that this comes with. So each one of the attachments has a slightly different gauge and you can just find the one that fits in your grill properly. But it goes right around your grill grates and it just gets off all of that grime. So if you want the perfect clean grill after every cook, I'd highly recommend looking at this. Uh, we'll put a link down in the description below. Super, super affordable and crazy durable. Like you never have to worry about this wearing out. It's all stainless steel and great little tool to have. So if you're on lockdown in your house, this is the perfect chore to do. If you've got a little bit of extra spare time, get your grill ready for the summer grilling season. So now that we've got the grill grate scraped of all the large chunks, um, we've just used some nitro gloves. We usually use these in our cooks, but that's just gonna prevent your hands from getting totally messy here. We're gonna remove the grates and we'll put them in a hot water bath with a little bit of the Dawn dish soap. Let those soak away while we clean the rest of the grill. Now we've got access to the flavorizer bars and the smoke box. And similarly, we're gonna wanna remove any of the excess fat that's actually rendered down and built up on some of these flavorizer bars. So we just use a scraper like this. And don't forget the underside of these bars as well. You'd be surprised how much junk actually collects there. And we're just gonna go down each of these flavorizer bars, again, removing any fat that's rendered down, any cheese, if you've made cheeseburgers and have that go through the grate, really anything that's just built up on these. And then we'll put this in the hot water soap bath uh, at the end as well. Now with the flavorizer bars removed, we'll just pull out the smoke box. Now we'll add this into the hot water bath as well. Now let's go tackle the rest of the grill while we let this soak away. Now for the inside of the grill, we're gonna to wanna to take our scraper and just scrape off all this junk into this middle part where you should have a tray down below that catches all the grease that ultimately drips down into the bottom of your grill. So you just wanna scrape that into that tray. Now we're just gonna take our brush here and there's all this debris that just collects along the edges of the grill grate and you're gonna to wanna to brush that down into the base of the grill as well. And now you're gonna to wanna to just go like this over top of your burner elements and you're gonna to wanna to brush the same way as the openings in your burner elements and that's just so that you're not actually pushing any grime into these little holes and blocking them up or clogging them up. And as you're scraping this off, make sure you try and get any of the grime off the actual edges of the hood of your grill and the side of your grill. Now you don't have to get this perfect, but just we're trying to scrape off whatever grime we can. Similarly, go along the back hood of your grill. We're just trying to remove the bulk of the grease. Now with all that cleaned out, we can reach in under here and grab out this tray and just look at all this junk that was taken out of the grill. So let's empty this out and then we're gonna clean this tray itself. Now we're gonna try and get some of this brine from the side of the grill. So we're just gonna take a scouring pad with a little bit of soap and water and some elbow grease here. If there's any stuck on spots like that, just use a little steel wool, no problem. Comes right off. All right, so we'll just give that a rinse now with some cold water, get it cleaned off, done. Done. 
and don't forget to get your nods. You can see here we've had some birds that have just had some d direct shots to our actual gas nods. It's incredible how they can fit that, but they do. So make sure you get your knobs cleaned up. I find this particularly good just for getting in these little grooves around the dials on the grill. And now we'll come over and do this side. So again, we're just cleaning it off here with a little bit of the scouring pad. Now with the side burner, we're just gonna reach in here get out any of that junk that's left over from the fall. We're really just trying to remove some of the grime, make sure we don't end up with grease fires. And as you'll see here, ours is reasonably clean. Now we also want to get the lid of the grill here. So scouring pad, soap, water, elbow grease. And of course we'll want to wipe down the hood. These usually remain pretty clean. This uh, black porcelain that Weber has on the grills is incredibly, incredibly resilient. So a quick little clean with a scouring pad, you should be good to go here. And then finally, you'll see we've got to do the doors. You get a lot of grime, in particular, just the splash back when it's raining, of the rain hitting your deck and putting dirt up onto your grill. So just a quick rinse and we'll get all of this off. Now one more thing to do is to just clean out this grease tray that's beneath the bottom of the grill. So we've got a clean one in here. It's just as simple as this. Take it out. Drop in a new one. So now we've had all our greasy parts soaking in the soapy water. So we've got that in a large bucket and then we've got a clean bucket of water here just to rinse things out with at the end. But all we're gonna do now that this has been soaking, scrub it with a scour pad. And so much of this is just rendered fat. And so the second that it actually sits in hot water for a while, it really loosens up and it's easy to come right off. See, just like that. And then for some of these harder to get pieces, we're just gonna use some steel wool. And don't forget to get the backside here, right around where the grease trap hole is. You'll get some buildup on the underside. Now we'll just take a clean scouring pad and get in here and wrinkle this off. And this is just fresh cold water. All right, now this is ready to go back in the grill. Now one key thing while you're washing these is that you wanna wash them in the reverse order that you took them out of the grill because that's how the puzzle pieces will fit together on the way back in. Now we'll dip that in cold water. Rinse it off and get this back in the grill. Now onto a flavorizer bar, and these we're just giving a quick once over with some Saint stainless steel wool. Now, you'll ever, every once in a while, you'll get one that still has a lot of gunk on it. So just use a little more elbow grease, and it comes off really easy. Perfect, so this one's ready to be rinsed and go back in the grill. You'll see we've still got a little discoloration on the metal. Don't worry about that, that's natural just given the amount of heat on the grill. So you're never gonna be able to get this perfect and back to that original stainless steel, but you're 99% there. Now for the last pieces are the grill grates. And you'll see this water's gotten pretty grimy just given all the rust and grease that we've gotten off of the other components. We're gonna scrape this down with steel wool here, but we've changed out our clean water because we're gonna to wanna to make sure we give these a really good rinse afterwards to get all of this junk off of it. We don't want any of the metal particles that have come off through this process from the various components to stay on the grill surface because this is what we're gonna be eating off of. All right, let's get this back on the grill. Now that we've got everything back in place, we're not done yet. A few more steps here, so stick with us. Now what you're gonna wanna do is turn all your burners to high and just let those go for about five minutes to make sure you actually dry out all the components that we just washed. And that includes the side burner. And then just close down the lid. Now while we're drying off the interior of the components, we're just gonna use some stainless steel cleaner. And this is really just to polish off your stainless steel without leaving any streaks on it. So just spray a little bit on 
And then you're gonna to wanna to brush with the grain of the stainless steel. And then gather it along the front here too. And this is just gonna give you a really nice polish. And of course, at the end of this, it's gonna be really important that you cover your grill so that you try and preserve this cleaning as long as possible. Now, of course, we'll link these products in the description down below, but any stainless steel grill cleaner or any stainless steel cleaner, frankly, is gonna do just fine. So don't feel like you've gotta use the ones we are. I think the one important thing to make sure is if you are using a cleaner, just make sure it's all natural because you are using this on surfaces that your food's gonna be around. So you don't wanna accidentally get any chemicals into your food just by using the wrong cleaning agent. Now we turned off the side burner and we'll get this last side. Now we've just turned off the burners and the last thing that we're gonna do is just re-season this grill. So we've got some barbecue grill oil. This is 100% all natural. I think this is a combination of citrus and coconut. Again, all these products will be in the description below, but just make sure you're using an all natural oil. You wanna put a generous amount of this oil on a paper towel, let it soak in there. And now you're just gonna to wanna to rub the grill grates. You're gonna to start to see it smoke. This is the grill grates just re-seasoning. And this is also gonna help prevent the food from sticking on your first cook, because we'll have nicely seasoned grill grates. Yeah, you can smell the coconut. There's definitely coconut oil in this product here. You can see the grill grates, what parts have actually been hit with oil. So just make sure you're getting a nice, even coating all over the grill grates. Now we're just gonna turn our burners back on to medium and then let this go for another two or three minutes just to let that fully season it. Now that we got our daily driver all cleaned up, there's just one thing left to do, and that's to get grilling. So if you want some ideas, go check out one of the other videos on our channel here. Thanks for tuning in.